Oh damn, that was close and personal there. Oh. Hey guys, so today I want to talk about the surgery that I had. I had gastric sleeve surgery on Bellevue Hospital in New York. The maximum weight I used to weigh was 315 pounds. And currently... Okay. And currently I weigh 190... 195 around there um these are my scars i'm going to show you real quick so one two three four and five that little dot right there i was such a big girl at the time i was still body confident trust me as you can see i'm gonna put pictures right here i used to wear bikinis two peas girl all that but now since i have like saggy skin and i'll show you later it bothers me you know so my confidence right now isn't up there but i'm trying to do it with like um photo shoots and stuff like that i just do the photo shoot for fun because it's pretty cool like someone is taking a picture of you professionally done and it's just like I'm looking cute right now, okay? So you better take a picture of me cute. I, <laughs> yeah, I used to be such a big girl. I tried so many different dieting, but I just really loved food. Like, I was constantly eating, I guess, over, like, depression or just, like... I found out about bariatric surgery through my doctor. And I also Googled, like, surgery because I was just like, I'm fat. I'm not going to be able to do this by myself the surgery is a tool you still have to go to the gym and you still have to eat well it was just a tool for you to be skinny faster but you have to stay at that mentality that you have to stay healthy you know i just wasn't losing weight you know what i mean like i used to go to the gym sometimes with my best friend exercise like i used to eat healthy obviously i had my chinese food tacos pizza Fuck, you name it. I, I had this shit. I still have it now, but I used to OD on the plates. I used to go down on the chicken wings. Girl. But if I'm going out, I'm going to tell them, like, after I'm done eating, like, my side and shit, I, like, take it to go and I eat it home. Because, some yo, it's good. Like, just warm it up. You can still go outside if you have this surgery. You can still be social I still go outside like I was worried about that but I was like but want to hang out with me they can hang out with me. I don't regret it at all sometimes I miss having a big old sandwich like a chimichurri con plato mira oh my god oh my god con salami yes I just miss it sometimes but it's whatever I used to watch this girl on YouTube um, during my journey even though I had ups and downs downs as in like I, I did I, everything changed like the smell of eggs I was just like ugh get that I felt pregnant like ugh like I don't even know what being pregnant feels like but I felt pregnant I hit up the um, hospital, Bellevue Hospital in 28th Street and 1st Avenue, I think. My insurance covered it. That I had to be taking, it was just like classes and shit for like six months. So I started December, I mean the surgery. They gave me a list of all the appointments so, and the last day was obviously the surgery. Two weeks before, I had to go on this diet. Fuck, that diet? Fuck, I cheated some of the days. I was... Mm, I went ham on burgers like I went ham on them fucking burgers like bitch. I needed some fucking burgers. God, I want a burger <laughs> Yeah, after the surgery day It was pretty wild like I stayed at the hospital for three to four days. I don't remember I was pretty high on drugs that I think I don't know what the fuck they gave me, but I just kept asking for more So, um, Yeah, I'm gonna make a second part of this video so if you have any questions, comments about me, but if you have concerns, fuck concerns about the surgery, just just DM me, hit me up. I'll put my all my social media right here. You can hit me up. If I have you blocked, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Alright, peace out, y'all.